guys, it's Stacy. Um, today they're doing the big update for Valentine's Day, which everyone is very excited about. Uh, the game is still up while they're doing the update. And I'm running into stuff because I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> they're doing the Valentine's Day update. And last time I was recording, I started doing the secret bottle, message in a bottle secret quest um, outside Fort Pinta. But the game started to lag really bad. So I wasn't able to finish it. I had to sign off where I was, like in the middle of a field or something. So I think I have to start the whole quest line over again. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go check that out now. See if uh, the bottle's there again. If not, um, I know where I'm supposed to go, but I'll kind of help you along. I'm not sure how it's gonna work editing wise either. I might have to get some of the stuff from when I tried to record before. We'll find out. Thorny Banks. While we're here, we should do a little investigating. Oh! Look! It's a message! It's a bottle! A message in a bottle! It looks like there is something in it. A letter! I have to read what it says. My dearest, I have just left Jorvik and did not have time to say goodbye to you. My parents got the message that we needed to return home at once, and we had to take the very next boat off the island. I never got your address, so I threw this message in a bottle from the boat in the hope that it would reach you. Anna. October 12th, 1972. P.S. Remember that little tree where we carved our names together at the edge of Hollow Woods? Visit the tree and think of me. Kisses. Follow the tree at the hollow woods. Oh, oh. That could be anywhere. Okay, so we need to keep our eyes out for a carved tree in the hollow woods. There are a lot of woods. Oh, hey, birdie. That's cool. Dale Dale Lake. I don't think I've been over here before. Huh. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, I guess. This is pretty. Okay, so we are way down at the bottom tip now of the forest. I think this was the only area I did not search in yet. Oh man, here it is. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow, that took a long time. A carving! Okay, so the last time I did this quest, I got the message in the bottle and headed out to the woods to look for the special tree and it took me forever to find the special tree. Here it is. Oh good, this is where it has this left off. So <laughs> I finally found this special tree and heading back in, now we can see what it says. Landon plus Anna, 1972. Landon, isn't that the old guy with the sheep and evergreen fields? I'll ride over to him with the letter. I wonder what he will say. So heading over there, the lag got so intense. I don't know if it was me or the game. Um, I couldn't play. I couldn't couldn't move. I just had to stop exactly where I was in the middle of a field somewhere and come on another day and uh, get myself to a stable. So yeah, I think the uh, the message said Ever Green Fields, but I think he's over near Ever Wind Fields, if I'm not mistaken. So the Valentine's update is today. 
they've been working on it for quite a while they said it's taking a little bit longer than usual and they're going to give away a redeem code for 200 star coins which i think is awesome uh puts me that much closer to a fjord i just sing about it i was excited um that is i don't know what happened there you guys i just veered off to one direction they're sheep. I must be close. <laughs> there he is! See, we're in ever wind fields, not ever green fields. Hello, Landon. Hey, Cadence, a letter for me? Oh man, he's gonna be like, this chick loved me after all these years. It was a long time ago, but I remember it. It like it was yesterday. Anna was an amazing person. We had a wonderful summer together, but she was just gone one day. Wait a second while I read her letter. Ah, oh, so that is what happened. I wonder what things would have been like if she had stayed or if I had received her letter 30 years ago. But life is good anyways. I have my happy sheep and rabbits and I get to be outside and exercise all day, but I need to answer her letter anyways and I'll do it in the same way. Oh, hello. That was weird. With a letter in a bottle. This seems very inefficient, Landon. Please don't. Fate will decide if my message gets to her faster or not at all, Cadence. Here, take my letter. I've put it back in the same bottle. Throw it into the water. How's she gonna get it wherever she is from Fort Pinta? Landon, this is not a good idea. You guys have mail here. <sighs> Alright. So we have to go see James. Oh god, way down in Fort Pinta. Alright. So I've been feeding both him and um, Danger Nova, which is getting to be expensive. I don't know how you guys keep all those horses if you just don't necessarily feed them every day. But feeding two horses alone can get expensive. Oh, and I wanted to thank you guys for all of your input about which horse I should get. It seemed the most um, votes were for Andalusian and Arabian, which surprises me because I felt like I didn't see that many Arabians in the game, in the wild. But a lot of people say they really like that horse and I guess it's really fast. All right, a letter in a bottle response. A good place to throw a message in a bottle? Hmm. <laughs> the docks near the bridge to Fort Pinta has to be the best place, Cadence. Almost right underneath the bridge where the Fort Pinta race goes. If you throw the bottle in there, I can watch with my telescope to see that it is going the right way. Just be sure the tide doesn't just bring it right back in again. This bridge? There's no water here. Oh, he must mean down down there. Oh gosh, don't fall. Or down that way. We'll find out. If I can go the right way. Oh no, it's gonna yell at me, isn't it? Oh, oh it didn't! Yes! Aha! Good, there are sparkles. There be sparkles. We're in the right place. Get down. Nothing. I saw the bottle with my telescope. It hasn't moved much yet, but it is high tide right now. Come back tomorrow and I will let you know if it goes out with the tide later. We'll do, James. We'll do. So I've also been talking to a lot of people about doing another group meetup. I would like to do it on a Friday or Saturday night so that we can experience the disco, which I'm very excited about experiencing, as you can tell. 
disco. Alright, that's enough. I'm making a fool of myself. Um, yes, I think it would be fun. And I think it would be most efficient to have a big group meetup since I get a lot of requests to hang out. And I just don't have enough hours in the day <laughs> to see everybody. If I could spend all my time on Star Sable, that would be fantastic. But alas, I cannot. And we're also going to pick up... Now nothing can stop us. I have just ordered new fences and signs for Penny and Polly's pony competition. You can apologize to them for me. I really didn't mean to push the box with their things here off the cliff so everything would break. I don't really know how it happened. I just kind of tripped and pushed the box several meters to the edge. Then I stumbled again and gave it a really hard push and it went over the edge. Really bad luck, right? Man, James, that's kind of mean. But now I've ordered new equipment. It cost me a bit of money, but it will be worth it. My stomach is feeling better already. Strange, right? Do you think the two things are related? It was my bad conscience that made my stomach hurt. Nah, you're so funny, Cadence. Hmm, you know, maybe this pony competition isn't such a bad idea after all. The smart part is I get to let Penny and Polly try first so that I get to learn from any mistakes they make. Later, I can start an even better pony competition here in Fort Pinta. Brilliant! Ouch, now I have that pain in my stomach back again. <laughs> I don't know what my stomach is doing this to me. Ow. Bye, Cadence. Ow. Poor me. Not poor you, James. Yeah, so I really appreciate everyone's feedback that I'm getting. It's so exciting that everyone's having fun watching me mm -hmm. sometimes fail miserably at this game. <laughs> I love it. It's fun, but I run into a lot of walls and stuff, so... <laughs> this is fantastic. We have received new obstacles from James, and he helped us to put them up. It is very kind of him. Maybe he isn't as awful as we thought? No. He is. Totally is. <laughs> no, 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 no. There, Cadence. Now it is all set. Yeah! We're gonna race the pony! Let's do it! Oh my gosh! Alright. Come on, Rock Beam! Come on, come on, come on, come on! A little faster. A little faster. Oh, shop turn! God, please don't be broken this time. It scared me so much last time. Hello, ladies. Rock beam! Scarlet and I decided that every time Rock beam runs over people, he just yells his name. Rock beam! Makes me think of Rock Lee from Naruto. I love the tropical music for this race. It's very <laughs> it's very lively. I think it's the Fort Pinta beach music. I'm not doing too bad for my first time doing this race. I don't know why I felt the need to yell about it. Oh gosh, hurry, hurry. One twenty six. Oh my god, twenty seconds faster than I mean slower than the fastest time. Messimo? Are they twins? Did I just realize they're twins? Where have I been? Beautifully ridden, Cadence. You really are an amazing rider. Thank you. You can come back anytime you like and ride our race again. Well, I just might do it again. Come on, little buddy. I hope the Valentine's Day clothes have some good stats. In addition to being super adorable. Still, I think, so far, my favorite clothes that I've seen are the nautical, of course, I've mentioned that a few times, but the Coulter ones, too, that I showed in the last video, because I just happened to run by someone that had them on, I was so excited. Those are so cool, and I really can't wait to get to that area to be able to do them. 
I got a worse time? How did I get a worse time? I guess I'm done with that now. Thanks, Polly. Thank you for joining me again for another episode of Let's Play Star Stable. Um, like I said, I'm planning on another meetup soon. Hopefully for a disco party. Disco party! Hooray! <laughs> and I also um, have been uh, working on some Sims 3 challenges that I would like to do. If you guys play The Sims 3 and have any challenge ideas, let me know. Um, I've been picking out a few. The hotel challenge seems really cool, but I'm thinking it's just because I want to build a hotel. Um, there's the Black Widow challenge. I've done the 100 Baby challenge before. Um, I might do that one. And also the Perfect Genetics challenge. I just don't want it to be too boring. Um, I don't know. I don't want it to bore you guys. So whatever ones you think are interesting, I'd totally be willing to try. Well, hello, friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I hope to post some more once the Valentine's Day stuff comes because I can't wait to check it out. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.